Good work, James. Sadly, I don't have the credits to pay you what you're worth, but you can keep the zipline attachment. I'm sure you'll find good use for it. Best of luck out there. Braddock, it's Jim. Dr. Roman's 5 by 5 I don't think you have to worry about her one bit. Glad to hear it. Appreciate you going out of your way. Of course. Anything else while I'm out here? Besides the usual standing contracts? Actually, we did just survey a fairly massive T energy deposit nearby, but it's inaccessible with your current equipment loadout. When you're back, you should talk to Gale about upgrading your rig with some kind of winch system. Roger that. Peyton out. Wait, did I hear my name? Listen, Jim, remember how I asked you to find that servo controller off the Rocha scrapped winch arm a while ago and you sort of blew me off? <laughs> See, the thing is, I'm gonna need that component if you want the upgrade Braddock's talking about. So, if you find it, I'll be happy to hook you up. I ain't bitter or hurt or resentful or nothing. I'm healthy like that.
Saronis, come in. Hutchings here. We lost the supply drop we were waiting for. It hit a crag off Shackleton's Peak and disappeared over the other side. Morose is looking for a way over, but I think it's lost. Luckily, it was back of medical supplies and not one of our scheduled Class A drops. Let's just hope we don't have an outbreak of anything soon. Return home. Out. I think I found that doodad you were after. Sweetness. Just drop it by next time you're in the hangar. Pretty sure you know where to find me, and, uh, you know, let's just keep this between us. Nevin, Neo Venus Construction, number one in energy, number one in medicine, number one in communications. In philanthropy, the most generous corporation in the history of the earth. A beacon of hope in dark times. 
Nevik spans the galaxy in search of new energy sources, Earth's greatest champion, mankind's best chance to endure and prevail. Nevik, for your future. Hey, Gail. You up to helping me put a new tool on the rig? Sure thing, boss. With that component you salvaged from LaRoche's winch arm, I can upgrade your rig to spec. It's kind of what I do. Just plug any salvage that you find out in the world into the kiosk there and select what you need. Oh, and if you're ever low on salvage but flush on cash, I'm sure old Birdie can swap that for you. They don't call him the quartermaster for nothing. Get it? Yeah, me either. Cool. I can literally do that one in minutes. Hang on. This one's simple. We take some raw metal, we reinforce the hull. Alrighty, sir. Upgraded your claw arm with a brand spanking new winch. Premium bi-steel synthetic cable, high-end abrasion guard, precision CNC machine roller fair lead. It's compatible with the zip line attachment on your grappling hook because you're my favorite. And not just because LaRoche doesn't let me upgrade his rig. This, this is the stuff. Now get out of here before I regret giving it to you. I'm <laughs> kidding. Love you, enjoy. Don't break it. Oh, and because I'm the gift that keeps on giving, I cooked you up a T-Energy detector. It'll automatically recognize a thermal pocket in the immediate vicinity and translate the seismic noise into audio. Just listen for the signal and use it to pinpoint and discover underground deposits. Like a hot and cold game. You're welcome. Hey, what's the rumpus, Jim? Good. That upgrade's a must in my book. The less you gotta reload, the better, eh? That ought to tone down your recoil quite a bit. Smart purchase, no question. Gail got you rummaging around for scrap, huh? Good deal, good deal. You be careful out there, kiddo.
Busting out the welding goggles. All right, let's get you upgraded. Doodles. Hey, Grace, your last message made it sound like you were worried about my living conditions. Well, don't fret, Angel. Take a look. Cozy, huh? I know she looks as cramped as the backseat of your old hatchback, but when the chips are down, you'd be surprised how much mileage I get out of a five-ton claw and drill. That's yeah, not to say she's all utility. I got all the creature comforts. Always got a couple pots brewing. There's a shot of you and Hank the day we brought him home. Bunch of maps. Eh, more maps. There's us looking dapper. And my shrine to you. You even got your going away present parked on the dash, you cruel, cruel woman. Uh, I gotta go. Executive decision, we are done waxing melancholy. I have news. Our son is walking. Well, he walked. Well, he took two steps and face planted, but that counts, doesn't it? I'll see if I can get him to do it on camera. Well, that sounds healthy, right? Okay, since you asked, here's why my face doesn't freeze. My environment suit here? This was made by Nevik's smartest engineers. This is not cheap. It's got breathable fabric, adaptive heat loss insulators, windproof laminates, moisture barriers, and micropores. Then it's machine washable. Right. Now, these uh, heaters on the collar here, they do the heavy lifting of keeping my head warm when I'm in the elements. It's got its limitations, but keeping the noggin warm ain't one of them. So, is that wonky enough for you, or do I need to start talking about fluoropolymers? Pronus Actual will come in. I'm getting close to that massive T energy deposit. Looks like I'll have to use my new winch to get across this chasm. Hope LaRoche is listening. Use my ass, bait on that. Choke on your winch. Jim, remember when you get there. The bigger thermal pockets can overload your T-post, so watch your step. Yes, please. Don't burn up like a matchstick. Hey, LaRoche, how are those grasshopper pumps in the East Valley coming along? Complete mumbo. Almost done. 
Corona's actual out. I'm losing, I'm losing my mind. My mind. In, which case, In which case, I'll go right, I'll on, go right on talking to myself. Talking to myself.